Two more. Guys, sorry. Ryan is the host of tonight's family dinner. To the princess, to the kings, and other distinguished guests, I'd like to invite you to our royal dinner this evening. And I'd like to wish you uh, a fantastic night, uh, accompanied with three lovely dishes that uh, Bradley, Benjamin, Benjamin and myself have made. Housemates have submitted their own topics for discussion for family dinner. So the next uh, dinner party conversation topic is what is raised. Oh, okay. if, if you had a time machine and could turn back time, what's the one thing you would change in the Big Brother house? Yes. Whoa. Mine's simple. Yeah, if I could go back in time, <laughs> I'd flirt with so. Ben a little bit more. And I probably would have made a move on Angie in the first night before I got the friend status. So. <laughs> oh. That was a joke. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna um, I would say, um, famously or infamously, throwing a glass of water in Bradley's face. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> because in the outside world, throwing a glass of water in someone's face is probably something I would do. Mm. And what I learnt was throwing a glass of water in someone's face is not funny. And it's not funny in the, here, and it won't be funny in the future in the real world. Mm. And so I'm actually really glad that I threw a glass of water in Bradley's face because it helped me realise that being 32, I should have grown up from that sort of behaviour a long time ago. Aww. Aww. I think the comment was what caused that to happen. So Aww. I feel it was more on me than on Ben. And I feel terrible. I feel terrible that it happened because he may go home. It could come down to that. And, you know, like, it would not have happened had I not have said that comment. So, you know, if I could change anything, I would take back the comment that I made and then he would not have then chucked oh, the glass of water. Awesome. Awesome. Very mature, Bradley. Oh my God, I love you guys. For the first week, I was baffled. I was blown away. I think we all were, maybe we all weren't, but I was like, whoa, holy cow. Mm. The second week, I was something else again. This week, it all is just making sense mm -hmm. a lot more than it, yeah. it did and it, what it ever did. So what yeah. I've learned about me is that I am learning and I'll never stop learning and please, yeah, never make me stop learning because <laughs> I'm going to track you down. Yeah. Well, you're out! <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. That's it, and learning and growing. Yeah. And, you know. So I've learned that you'd never stop learning. The After Dinner Entertainment is Ryan Gosling. He's so pretty. So, he is. He's a very good boy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Someone has to do like the, da, the music. I'll just so, um, fix up yours, Ryan, and bring that in for yeah, you. Yeah, awesome, man. Mm. How good do they look? Oh, they look so good. I was listening to you and I was like, oh, what? I hope you're not boss being bossed around by that man. <laughs> no. His suggestions are just so silly. I think he's handling the host job well. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. So, and I think we picked him for the right reasons. So. No, I think we did. I think if we didn't pick him, he, he quite have easily faded, faded away. away. But now, yeah. he's front and centre and he gets a chance to show that he can talk, he can fit in with the group, so. Give yeah. him a chance to sort of shine a bit. Yeah. When Ryan was nominated, he just got off the couch and he's just, he just, like a switch was turned he's on great. and he just, he's been bubbly and full of energy and okay. look at him. He's got a big smile on his face, see? He you know looks I mean? damn fine like in what he's, he's wearing. He's been great to chew it, so no, I've been enjoying it. We've got it. caramel and chocolate sundaes with three different types of ice cream, whipped cream, and cherry on top. The final topic for the night is a hot one. Relationships inside the house. All right, so the next topic was 
Bola Genius, called Michael, discussed the pros and cons of developing our relationship in the house. Oh! So I said to Big Brother, I said, oh, look, Mabel, there's six people in this house that are in a relationship. <laughs> Two might not know it, but unfortunately is the case. Yeah, and then, he, and then he said, there's eight. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> eight. eight. I'm like flipping out. And he's like, the, the goslings. And I was like, of oh, course. <laughs> I forgot about the goslings. There are the goslings. I, I don't know what One people minute. were getting at. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, anyway. Six clear main, couples. Main thing is, is for me, a positive, like, Everybody knows we snuggle. It's that's not like you can decide what you want and and make your own assumptions or whatever. Um, I like it because it gives me comfort. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a cuddle. Gives me comfort. Gives me reassurance and 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 makes me a little bit happy. End of story. Don't need to justify being in this sort of situation. I think this house does things to people, um, and finding out whether those feelings are real or are superficial or whatnot would be a lot more difficult. So that to me is a pro and a con. End of story, finito. Next. Pro, snuggles. Snuggles, love con, the snuggles. people taking it for something that it's not. Oh. <laughs> Boom, okay. George. Same opinion as uh, Mr. Josh. While the ladies returned to the kitchen, the boys grilled George on his cooling off with Layla. Tonight, tonight. Me? Yeah. Before. I already did. Oh, really? The yeah. talk. Probably when you were making food. How'd it go? Yeah, good, eh? Really? Yeah. Okay. When are you going to pop the question to a star? <laughs> you, You've already know. said you're in a relationship. You yeah. may as well ask her out. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. You did. You just said it when you're standing up here. You and did. I, you, said it like three <laughs> times. you said it three don't, times. Don't, mate, don't stand there laughing. In the... well, man, I've had the talk. We both know what it is. Next. Oh, God. Michael's bad hair day. Michael, would you like to lose the hair? To save Bradley, call 1902 559503, SMS Bradley to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. It's nearly lights out in the Big Brother house and the newest housemate, Ryan Gosling, is getting ready for bed. Is that a great night? Baby goose? Have a bit of a gander of that goose. Booth. Booth. I keep forgetting his face is on the back. So I'm like, this <laughs> I know, is over like there. I know, it's like he gets both. Of, oh, this side's better, I reckon. You should have a shower with him. No, I will tomorrow. Yeah. Do you think I should wash him? Yeah. Hey guys, before He's I got a mic, though. question, actually, there's some chocolate milk here. So if you want some, have some now. Keep walking, Bradley. Keep walking. What do you think of the style, man? Sorry? What do you think of the style? Yeah, I think that she's one of the boys, hey? She is. Man, and, like... And that's why the girls... Like, you know, I was looking at her tonight in the conversation and stuff, and she's just like a... Just a... A boy. I'm not a boy, man. Man, you've got... Man, you are the luckiest guy alive. Like, she's a cool chick that's motivated, that's hot, and is like one of the boys. Like, I don't think he can get better than that. Someone said to me the other day, I forget who it was, that she actually really likes me, but she's very selective in the way she goes about it. She doesn't want other people to know how much she actually really likes me. I'd believe that. Hey, I think you... Hey? you I think you nailed it tonight, man. Really? Mate, oh, honestly, man, like... I don't know how I'd come Honestly, across put it there, man. You have come out of your show. You are bloody hilarious. Because, how's this, right? In the um, diary room, they, Big Brother goes, I want a chairman for tonight, a host. A chairman. To, yeah. For the, for the discussion topics. And straight away, Ben's gone, yeah, I oh, will do it. Yeah. But then Bradley said to, for, was able to persuade um, Benjamin that I should host for tonight. Mm -hmm. Where's, Where's Benjamin and stuff gone? Diary room. Mate, he's in the worst mood. He hates me. Benjamin? Why? Mate, you can boy. I got a long while with you. No, no, it's got nothing to do with that. Me and George. He hates me. Come on, look me in the eye. And George? Mm-hmm. 
absolutely like won't look me in the eye the moment I say something he rolls his eyes he t- keeps talking about how he's found who his real friends are and he will like look at all the girls and touch them and just like completely ignore me oh. Michael has been called to the diary room for the day's last yes no challenge uh, Housemates can only say no two more times before failing the oh task. God. Michael. Hey, big brother. Tell big brother how your hair defines you as a person. No! No! Um... I never really had any attention from girls or never really felt confident in my own skin and I started growing it and I guess I sort of felt like I started fitting in with a group of people. It was a source of pride that not only was I a redhead but I was someone who was stoked being a redhead and had a lot of red hair. Michael, would you like to lose the hair? (sighs) I'm sorry guys but No, no, I I wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. No, big brother. Shut up. You know what? Whatever. Michael, you said no to big brother. Housemates now only have one more no remaining. Michael, you're free to leave the diary room. Zoe pays a late night visit to Big Brother to discuss today's adventures. Zoe. What do you think Surly's playing at? Um, I don't know. I think Surly is maybe giving me missions because lying is not my biggest strength when it comes to, you know, serious lies. And I was really terrified that people are going to stop trusting me because I acted like a crazy person today and they were just like, Zoe, what is the deal? I was like, oh, nothing, just this is me. Having missions is fun but difficult, so who knows what Sally's doing to me. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.